How to refurb a house from A to Z in 2024. Come with me, I'll show you how it's done. First up, it's the strip out. Straight away, as soon as I come into the property, the first thing I do is remove everything back to brick, which means the kitchens are gone, the bathrooms are gone, all the internal doors are gone, all the internal woodwork, like the skirting boards, the architraves, the door frames, everything, carpets, tiles, the entire house, to me, for what I do, is taken back to brick. That is the strip out. So, a structural engineer, is next. It's the person I contact to come in and give me all of the calculations for any internal configurations I want to do. So if I want to knock that wall out, if I want to knock that wall out and make the kitchen, the dining room bigger, if I want to create an open plan living space, my structural engineer is the next port of call. Now it's time for the first fix electrics and the first fix plumbing. This is where your electrician and your plumber come in, they create all of the original work that needs to be done for the next phase. So next up is carpentry. This is the first stage of the carpentry. This is where the internal door frames are fitted. Now the reason I have the internal door frames fitted is because the next phase, it actually works better. So come and take a look at this. Next up, will be plastering. And the reason that I have the internal door frames fitted before the plastering is because when they plaster the walls, I like the plaster to go up to the door frames. Some contractors will put the door frames in after the plastering is done. That is a massive no-no. Make sure the internal door frames are fitted before the plastering is started. First fix plumbing is done. It is now time to tile your bathroom. The plastering is now done. It is time for the next stage of the carpentry, which means you will fit all of your architraves, which is this all around your door frames, all of your skirting board in the property, and some contractors at this stage will hang the internal doors. Now me, I like to hang my internal doors at the end of the property once the carpets, the flooring, the tiles, the laminated, whatever you choose, has been laid. But every contractor works differently. So right now, you can have the internal doors done or you can speak to your contractor about having them at the end of the project. Your mist coat is up next. Now, a mist coat is a watered down paint that is applied to all the fresh plaster in a property. Ceilings, walls, it is even sprayed over your skirting board, your architrave, and some people spray their internal doors. I like to leave my internal doors natural, I like the wood look, but right now, mist coat is what is up next. Then, you can start fitting your kitchen. Now, some people like their kitchen fitted before the floor is laid. Now, a lot of investors and a lot of developers will do that to save money, so the tiles or whatever flooring you're using in here does not go underneath the carcasses of the kitchen. Me, I have learned over time, I like to have my floor laid first fully and then my kitchen fitted over the top. Right at the beginning of my journey, I would do it the way that I said first. I would fit the kitchen and then fit the flooring around the kitchen. Now, I like to do it differently. Next up, second fix electrics, second fix plumbing. This is where all of your spotlights, all of your plug sockets, all of your switches, your radiators are hung and everything is installed. Second fix is a very, very important phase because this is where you get to see the property coming together. Your bathroom will be fitted at this stage as well. Windows and doors are a huge part of development projects. Windows and doors can take anything from three to eight weeks to be made and delivered. A contractor will order these when you give them the job to start and they can be installed at any time during the development. Your contractor will take control of this and your contractor will work with his team around everything that needs doing to make sure your windows and doors are installed with minimum fuss. 
At this stage, it is time to decorate the property. This is to paint throughout the whole of your development. The walls, the ceilings, the skirting boards, the architrave, the internal doors if you want them. This is where the property starts to come to the best part of the journey. And as soon as you have decorated, it's time to put your flooring down. Now me, as I've described in this video, I like tiles on the floor in my bathroom, tiles on the floor in my kitchen, maybe laminated floor in my lounge, maybe carpets in the hallway, maybe carpets in the lounge if that's what you like. Again, me, I prefer in the hallway, in your lounge, tiles or laminated floor. In your bedrooms, I like carpets. On your stairs and landings, I like carpets. But this is the stage where you get to pick the finishing touches. Now it's time for landscaping, front and back gardens. So I always leave these towards the end of a project, but you need to calculate it as entrances can be a problem. If you're on a terrace property and you can't get around the back, your gardens need to be done right at the beginning because you don't want to cause any damage to the works that you're doing on the interior. But this is the stage that I take care of my landscaping. Now we are on to my favorite part of the whole development, the snagging stage. This is just before your contractor hands you the keys back. This is where you come in and you check everything. You make sure all of your lights are working, all of your plugs are working, all of your sinks are working, all of your toilets are flushing, your showers are showering. You make sure every single thing in the property is at the level that you want it to be. If it's not there, and when you have to have that conversation with your contractor, you need to make a list. At this stage, it is very, very important to understand every single thing that you want doing, your contractor will do it at the quickest pace they have ever worked. Because that final payment that you have to give them after snagging is usually their profit. So there you have it guys, the A to Z process for you to follow and make sure you do things correctly. Now, these are the type of videos that every single person likes to watch, the educational videos. If there's a video that you want me to shoot for you, comment below, let me know, me and my team will make it happen. But in return, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you soon with more Golden Nuggets.